Hello and good morning. It is our last full day in South Dakota. Tomorrow we leave to go back to Iowa. And then the day after that, we'll be back home at the homestead, probably late. So we are on our way to Custer um, and returning to Custer State Park. We're gonna do their wildlife loop and see if we can see a few more bison and the kids wanna see more prairie dogs. And then after that, we'll probably find a trail or whatever else cool strikes our fancy. We're coming into Custer right now. So uh, we'll show you guys as always. Okay, so we are on the Wildlife Loop Road now in Custer State Park. Uh, so far, absolutely beautiful. And um, we're hoping to see some more, some more wildlife, especially some more buffalo. That was amazing when that happened to us in Badlands. So I'll show you guys some of the cool views, and if I see anything, we'll show you guys that as well. We just took um, a right turn off of the Wildlife Loop Road onto Red Valley Road, I think. They said it's open to the public. It's a gravel road and it's just really scenic and beautiful. So we're just gonna like take some fresh air for a minute. Chloe was getting a little car sick. There's Squeaks, Liam's prairie dog. <laughs> Okay, um, Brian just went to the top of one of these bigger hills and spotted a bison herd. Oh my God. Okay, stop. Hello. Okay. How you doing? Here's the buffalo. That's amazing. I'm pretty sure that's bison actually. Grass, taking some dirt baths. Yeah. <sighs> Way to get the the uh, flies off me. Wow. And then I saw you rolling over there. I'm gonna see if I can take a photo. Okay, so Red Valley Road took us into Wind Cave National Park um, via the back way. So, uh, <laughs> And bison. <laughs> and right there at the entrance there were those two bison, just right there, oh, yeah. hanging out right by the road. Um, at first, you know, we approached carefully. Right there. Yeah. Huh? Deer. There's a flock of deer right here. Let's see if I can get a closer view for you. They're jumping. Oh my. Oh my. Wind Cave National Park. Okay, so uh, less than three minutes in Wind Cave National Park and two bison and three deer. Hello, Wind Cave National Park. Um, this is beautiful. This is amazing. This was a great little detour off of the, the Custer State Park wildlife loop. There's two right here. There's 
a whole bunch right there. Hi. Liam's got squeaks. His very dogs. Yeah, squeak. <laughs> Okay, so we just pulled off, you know, here's where we came from. Custer State Park is like way over there somewhere. And we saw, you know, buffalo and prairie dogs and deer. We've been following this road along. It continues on, but this is the first sign we've seen for Wind Cave National Park. And this trail, this Bolin Ridge Trail, 2.4 miles one way, so there, it's not a loop, so it would be almost five miles in some, but it takes you through the Black Hills all the way to the Badlands and the Red Valley. Um, so we're here. Custer State Park's way up there. And um, this follows all the way actually to like almost where we were. Private land, I think, indicates um, Pine Ridge Reservation, perhaps. And then it's warning you bison, rattlesnakes, poison ivy, insects. But, you know, here's the trail pickup. So much bison poop. So really, we're in a really active bison and wildlife area. Okay, so we actually had cell service, so we checked the map because we came to a fork where Red Valley Road ends, and we determined we wanted to take NP5, which will wind us up back through more of Wind Cave, and we think dump us out almost where we picked up the wildlife loop in Custer State Park. Like, this is the, the quintessential desired national park experience right here is when it's like just you <laughs> and you rarely get it so i'm just like this is so cool <laughs> Okay, we're still on NP5, but we just found this pull-up. Um, but we just found this pull-off kind of at the top of a mountain. Not a mountain, but a big hill. Um, with beautiful views. And then I also think I can see like Custer. So let me show you guys. That's all like we just drove through. All of that and wound our way around. Absolutely stunning.
passing through another sort of prairie dog area. There's really pretty hills here. Passing over a little creek. Oh, that's a good place for a prairie dog because the prairie dogs can just go there and drink. Huh? Prairie dogs by the creek. Um, so yeah, the other side of this fence is Custer State Park. We're still in Wind Cave. Right there is a trailhead, I think. I think that must have been some kind of trail. It says Highland Creek and it's the Centennial Trail. That's the trail that runs through uh, all of the Black Hills. It might be like a camping site. Or yeah. Something. Okay. So let's keep moving on, but we're getting close to the end here. Okay, so this is now Highway 87. So, um, I'd say we need to go to the I think that's a Custer State Park sign, so I would say we go this way. We just got into Custer State Park, and there's, I believe those are the pronghorn antelopes right there. Let me get you We've closer. Got some horns, didn't yep. All right there. Okay, so I'm looking at the map and this 87 is where we forked to take the wildlife loop and then we kind of, I don't think it's marked, but you know, went around here somewhere. There's NP5. So obviously we did something about like this. So now we're just gonna route back to where we started. Okay, we're in Custer State Park on Highway 87 still, and I just happened to look down into a valley and spy an entire herd of buffalo. Um, so they're pretty far in the distance, but I'm gonna try to um, get a little bit further out onto this, this hill right here so that I can show you. Okay, they're straight through those trees right there. I will zoom in. Look at all those beautiful buffalo. Absolutely amazing. And once again, we're like the only people around here. I mean, the, the whole experience today of just being like the only people for like miles in a national park has just been incredible. Unbelievable. Okay, not like three minutes down the road, there's another giant herd of buffalo. So let's take a look. These are just sitting, this is the park entrance we came in earlier to go through the wildlife loop. They're just sitting right here. different feel to it it's um just so open like the land opens up into just vast valleys and then you see the buffalo and it, sometimes you'll see rocks and red um, hills and we saw all kinds of interesting uh, minerals i mean it's it's really like a a mystical landscape. It's hard to describe why. It's just I'm not sure why. Yeah, no, I, I agree.
Hello, I'm uh, out for the evening while everybody else uh, kind of relaxes at the campground. I am checking out uh, Pakota Lake, one of the trails off the south end called Osprey Trail. Um, a little confusing to me, there's a campground that way. Um, and my GPS just took me to the campground and I didn't really see there's a road at the end of the campground that comes back to the trail and the parking. There is the parking lot information. All right, we are, I'm using this all trails map, I think, app on the phone. Looking at what I want to do. We are heading down to the Pakota Lake from Osprey Trail. Yeah, this is what it looks like so far. So on the map, this map right here, we're on this bottom loop going all the way around this sort of peninsula. That kind of looks like a duck. Let's see what we can see here. All right, now we are back. Heading toward the parking lot area. We're back to the parking lot. And I went from over there on that trail, just did a big loop. And this has like a spider almost thing to it. it spiders out into different sections so I'm gonna go down this other one that's the water right there and then see what this one does all right we're down a little bit ways a little more kind of walking through a flower meadow again looks to be a hill right there And then this is a split in the trail. Let's consult the map here. This is like a big field of purple. Pretty big. And then mixed in with these yellow sunflowers every once in a while. Some white flowers in the back here. It's pretty. Oh yeah, getting tired. Feeling the burn. Alright, I think we're gonna go down this way. See what I can see here. Alright. There's to some jagged rock here. Looks like it goes down to a lake. We can see over there. The sun is absolutely blinding me from that direction. And I cannot see.
All right, looks like we're coming back around if they're that dip in the water to the fork in the road again. So now I know what these go to. That's the trail right there. This is a lookout that I suspect is good. All right, there's trail right there just came to some benches there's a couple of them one down there and now we're starting to see some cool scenery here sun went down just a little bit so it's not blinding me it's kind of pretty sunset there's some cliffs right there there's a island out there it's kind of in shadow then over here some other stuff bit of cliffs in that mountain there. It's pretty cool. There's a boat out there. Out there having fun. Quite superb. It's like the biggest rock cliff over there. Pretty big. Kind of winds around. Continues a little bit. And there. 